Hello, uh, this is a uh, demonstration of installing the NetBeans IDE on a Raspberry Pi. Um, I hadn't done this before, but it seems pretty nice. Um, so it turns out that Oracle supports a version of Java that works quite well uh, on a Raspberry Pi 3, which is what this is. Um, I'm hooked into it remotely via VNC, but you might be looking at it directly via a screen. So, uh, I'd say the first uh, tool that might be useful to have around is to just verify that Java is installed. Um, so here's a terminal. I, I just brought that up. And uh, if I type java-version, there it is, Java version 1.8. So if you have a basic install of noobs and you have expanded the file system, you should look to see how to do that. Um, you should have Java installed at least version 1.8 and that is one of the first requirements of getting everything going on a, on such a system. So as far as just a useful tool, um, Git is a very popular version control system so since we have a console open right now um, I'll recommend that you go ahead and install the Git tools and the command you run from the command line to do that is just sudo like that sudo and then apt apt dash get apt get and then install and then a dash y and then git git so these are version control tools uh, mine are already installed um, but you should get a prompt and then you can uh, wait a moment and you'll see that some tools have been installed in my case it doesn't say very much because it's already there so check off check off I've got a Java installed and I have git installed now I'd like to have an IDE uh, to work in the Java environment with a graphical interface. So to do that, um, uh, the easiest thing is to bring up the web browser, which is this tool here. So I click there and then go to netbeans.org. So N-E-T-B-E-A-N-S dot org, O-R-G. <coughs> this is the NetBeans uh, official website. And so on this side, we download. So click on download. Uh, we are not using Windows, so down here, choose OS independent zip file there. And then um, under the Java SE column at the bottom, click download. So it should automatically start. So down at the bottom of the screen, I see that a NetBeans is starting to install, and it says it's going to take me uh, a little under two minutes, it looks like, to download that file. So we'll just wait a moment while that happens. Okay, so it's been downloaded, and now I'm done with uh, needing this tool, so I'm going to go ahead and close down my web browser. And I'm back to my terminal, and so just to see, if I cd, I get into my home directory, and then cd download, if I hit tab, it should, uh, it should complete to the uh, download directory. And then in here, if I type ls and look at the contents, there's my zip file. So NetBeans 8.1 javasc.zip. So my next step is to uh, unzip that in a useful location. And to me, the best place is under user local. So cd slash user usr, not user, slash usr. That's pronounced user in the Unix world. So user local, L-O-C-A-L, -L, like that. Then this step I have to do as root, and so the way you do that is sudo space and then home pi downloads. Oh, do you look at that? sudo unzip home pi downloads um, netbeans like that. So sudo unzip. And then uh, the full path of that, and notice uh, you can use tab to do uh, file name completion, which sa saves a lot of typing, probably incorrect things. Um, so just do partials and, uh, and hit tab. So press enter, and it's going to unzip. So it definitely pays to have a faster uh, SD card, a micro SD card, um, on your device. So if you can, uh, hopefully you have a faster one. You saved a lot of money on the system, I hope. Um, and so that faster flash card can help a lot.
Okay, so it's all expanded, and now if I, I can now go and CD into my NetBeans uh, directory that's now under user local, and if I type ls, there's a bunch of stuff. In particular, there's a bin folder, and if I ls what's in the contents of that bin folder, there's various versions of NetBeans. Those .exes don't matter to me, but the NetBeans folder does. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a shortcut in my menus so that I can take advantage of that. So NetBeans, I want to run this um, this executable, this, bat, this script file, to launch NetBeans um, from the menu. So now I go to Menu and Preferences, and then um, Main Menu Editor right there. So choose that. Okay, so here I go to programming and then new item and then name NetBeans and then command. I think the easiest thing is to press browse. So browse and then from there uh, you can go to slash and then user USR home or sorry user local and then NetBeans, and then bin, and then NetBeans, not the .exe, but the one with no extension, NetBeans, and then OK there, like that. So there's the command I want to run. And, uh, oh yeah, and then we can choose an icon. So let's click here, and then um, just to do the whole pass, so from the root directory slash, then again, back to user, and then local, and then NetBeans, and then in here, there's a folder nb, and there's an netbeans.png file, this one, and that seems to work just fine. So if you choose that and hit, oops, hit OK, then you'll get the traditional netbeans icon, which is this little ice cube looking thing. And then press OK. And then OK again. All right. So we just unzipped netbeans under the user local netbeans folder and then added a shortcut in our menu, so we should go me menu, programming, and look, right down at the bottom, there's our NetBeans. If we choose that, <coughs> there's our NetBeans 8.1, accept the license agreement, um, and off it goes, launching. And I'll say this is surprisingly fast for such a little piece of hardware. All right, so here is NetBeans running um, and first launched. Uh, what you might expect uh, after the get started is it checks to see if there's any updates right there. Um, and so go ahead and say yes, so you can go ahead and get the latest updates. Um, and so here um, it popped up this and next and accept the license agreements again and update. So this goes ahead and downloads the latest plugins for the IDE. Um, which you might as well get so you have the latest versions of stuff. And again, this does not take very long, and hopefully you only have to do this once. Okay, now that the uh, plugins are downloaded and installed, it says restart. So down here, click the balloon to restart the ID now. So we're gonna do that. And it'll kick it back open with the latest versions of all the components. <coughs> okay, and now it's starting again with uh, the updates installed. And second time through, it seems like it's starting up a little faster, which is great. Um, I'm fine with letting uh, my usage update their 
progress on developing a better ID, so I agree here. And so here it is, uh, now updated um, and ready to use for some sort of project. So perhaps a last check, um, if you go to, to Help and then About, you should see that your NetBeans IDE is 8.1 um, and that your Java is 1.8 point something um, for the, uh, the Java runtime that you're building with it. And that's a, that's a basic installation, so happy developing with a full-on Java IDE.